William Lindsay, born in a town called Wallasey, which means wall against the sea. I went to a very small school, only 65 students. When I came to the map of China, I saw something that fascinated me, the battlement symbol words the Great Wall of China. I measured it up and I thought, ah, a journey of a few weeks, a few months, the longer the better. I'm going there when I grow up. <laughs> the available maps at that time were quite uh, inadequate. Basically I had a big wall map of China and cut the relevant chunk of North China showing the wall out and put it in my pocket. Uh, finding the wall was one thing then staying with it for more than a few days was another because uh, actually the Great Wall is a uh, system of defences that comprises of man-made fortifications and natural defences supplied by nature like uh, mountain ridges and cliffs and canyons. So after a few days you'd be following the wall and then it would seemingly disappear. And then uh, you know I was asking uh, where is the Great Wall? So uh, which brings me to language. Language was a challenge at the beginning because a local newspaper had thought uh, well a good thing for William to do would be to learn Chinese at a local Chinese restaurant. So they taught me there but they taught me Cantonese. They taught me how to say hello I'm William in Cantonese which I've now forgotten. Well, back in uh, 1987, uh, there were only 325 places open to foreigners, so the vast majority of Chinese territory was out of bounds. On my successful journey, two and a half thousand kilometers, I was apprehended or arrested by the police nine times. And I was deported once, deported for repeated trespass in the same county. I should say that uh, only because I was deported did I meet the woman who became my wife. I met her in Beijing and um, uh, she could speak a little English and I remember the first thing she said to me is, hello, what do you do China? And I said, uh, oh, I'm here to write a book. Actually, I was being deported. I thought my journey was over. But I uh, optimistically said, I'm writing a book and it's called, uh, I made up a title, From the Desert to the Sea. And in fact, that became the subtitle. So if you want to read my story, it's Alone on the Great Wall, From the Desert to the Sea. My dad has this project. He's put some garbage bins on Ba Da Ling and Mu Tian Yu, which is a very good idea. So all the tourists that come to China, millions of them, and will put their garbage in the rubbish bins. 就是长城保护战呢，是开始在十年以前，我们那个雇佣了呃六个农民，在这常年捡垃圾。主要是捡捡拾那个通往长城的小路上的垃圾，每个月给这些农民呢这个四百块钱一个月。I take people to pick up garbage. I've got sponsors to give money so we can produce green message signage.、Uh, we've promoted the countryside code, nine guidelines for civilized behavior in the countryside. We have a dedicated website. Done the old and new photographs to try and make. Not only Chinese people, but the Chinese authorities, the government, more aware of the pace of change. Few people have been sarcastic and said, "Oh, don't you bother picking up garbage on our Great Wall? That's nothing to do with you." And I've said, "Well, actually, it is. To me, this is part of my planet. It's China, but it's part of my world."